What's happening everyone? Sam Madlinski here, checking in on the morning after the night before. Just a quick one to talk about the first night's sleep after the surgery, and it went pretty well. Um, it was a good thing as I was tired as I was though, because I woke up quite a few times in the night, and I couldn't do the old twist and turn thing that you do to send yourself back to sleep. So I had to kind of like twist my legs and my hips, and support my back with the pillow on one side, so it kind of felt like I turned around, but my head was still straight up and upright. Um, I got a good seven hours sleep anyway, so I'm feeling quite fresh today. Still no pain or discomfort at all. I took my anti-swelling tablets this morning and my antibiotics, just as instructed. Still not needed to take any painkillers yet, which I'm buzzing with. I've also got a full feeling in my head again, so there's no really weird numbness or anything anymore. Um, when I woke up this morning though, I, I thought about going to breakfast and I just thought like, hmm, can I really be bothered with pure people staring at me and you know looking at me at this time of the morning? I'll just get something later on for dinner time and um, and I remembered yesterday I seen these massive cocoa pops like mega cocoa pops and they're like double the size of normal cocoa pops and they're not that Jamie Oliver rubbish like the 30% less sugar ones in England now so I just thought you know what cocoa pops are my thing and I was at the front of that queue you know I wasn't missing out on those cocoa pops it actually turns around that there's loads of people at breakfast that have had surgeries like there was someone with a nose done like bandages on the nose and um, there was another guy that had his hair done i got chatting to him in the uh, the toast making queue ended up sitting with him for a bit while i was eating so yeah like the worry about people looking at me was like completely busted again like even if it was motivated by cocoa pops to go out and go to breakfast like i'm just glad i did you know because if no one was actually cared about me everyone was too busy eating their own breakfast so yeah um i'm happy with that little bit of morning motivation again also, it turns out that my head wash and rebandaging isn't until tomorrow. Uh, they want my head to have like a full day untouched first, but I've noticed that the medical tape has started to come a bit loose on my little tea bag. So um, probably because of the steam in the shower and a bit of sweat in the night. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna get a taxi to the hospital anyway and get him to put some fresh tape on it so it don't fall off. I feel like a woman with a weave. Like I always touch it at the back and it like moves. Yeah, it feels weird. Uh, that's about it for the first night's sleep. Not as bad as I thought it'd be, um, but it would have definitely have been worse if I wasn't as tired as I was. So yeah, that's all I can say. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow when the first wash is actually happening in a bit.